everyone, my name is Tasha. Today on the show we'll be making another insect buggy type tart, mainly because I want to keep using my green filling and it's all grassy and naturey and it goes great with my butterfly decoration. Hopefully you're looking for a butterfly whole fruit decorated tart, our cake, our cookie, our dessert, something with a butterfly on it, because I am here for you. Let's get started. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then pulverize one and a half cups old fashioned oats, one fourth cup raisins, one fourth teaspoon salt, and one fourth teaspoon cinnamon to a flour using your food processor. Next to the food processor, we're going to add in our liquids of one fourth cup water and three tablespoons melted coconut oil. It's winter time here in Atlanta, it's cold, so I had to melt it today. Hopefully, you can melt yours too. Pulse that until it is just combined and then press it around the sides and bottom of your 9 inch tart pan. Bake it for about 15 minutes and we can move on to our filling. To our food processor you want to add in 2 peeled bananas, 1 peeled and pitted avocado, and 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Blend that in your food processor until it is very smooth, a puree I would call it, and then spread it around your cool tart crust. Now for our butterfly topping. I have made the body of my butterfly the most caterpillar-like part of it out of four pitted dates. Be sure to take the pits out because those will not be fun to bite into. And this is where it starts to get a little weird for me because it starts to look too natural. I was going for a cartoon appearance. Maybe I should have used a banana as the body, but here you have the five pitted dates. And then I used raisins to create the butterfly antennas because they do have antenna antennae. To make the wings of the butterfly, I use orange segments. Now, I supreme my orange segments, which means I took the skin off. There are different ways to do it. I just take the skin off by hand, but it just makes the color brighter and more pretty and like, ah, spring is here, which is not. It's cold in wintertime here, but that is beside the point. Next, I made a black outline for my butterfly because my reference that I used, there are some beautiful butterflies with this black outer outline, this bright orange color, and it was just so pretty. I decided to do the same thing, even though mine started to look like a moth, other than not really a butterfly. It looks so natural. It didn't look like a cartoon. It looks like one of those butterflies that would be encased at the Natural History Museum and not like the butterfly flying around at the butterfly garden. I don't know. Anyway, I put eyes on it. These are just two tiny little pieces of banana and I was done. It still came out great. It looks like a butterfly more natural than cartoonish and I hope you're going for that effect. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. If you really enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the show spread through the YouTubes and you can share it with your friends on your social networks. I would really appreciate it and goodbye. See you tomorrow.